How to use max if s function in Microsoft Excel. Hello everyone, welcome to Excel 10 tutorial. In this function explain video series, I'm going to talk about the max if s function in Excel. Okay. You know already the max function gives you the maximum value of your data range and the max if s function does the same but the exception is that you can find out the maximum values based on different conditions or criteria. okay so the best way to learn a function is to apply it and in this tutorial i'm going to apply the max if s function here and i will explain how you can use it and what are the parameters okay so we are going to write the max if function in this cell cell i3 and we are going to find the maximum cells based on product and then the maximum cell based on product and category and then the maximum cells based on product category and sales person okay so if i give you example of three condition i think you can do this up to 255 times because max function allows 255 parameters okay so let's write it here equal to max if s you can see here so it gives the tooltip returns the maximum value among cells specified by a given set of condition or criteria okay so this is our function and this is the first parameter max range actually this is the value so from where you are going to find out the maximum value so this is our value if i write comma and it moves to the next parameter so next parameter is the criteria range so this is our first criteria this is the criteria range and if i press comma it is asking for the criteria okay so the criteria will be product name written in here okay so if i write any product name in this cell it will match it from the criteria range and it will find out the value for me so let's consider this as the first criteria and close the parenthesis and if i press enter you can see zero because we haven't selected any product so let's simply give it a product name and you can see the maximum cell value is 2000 on this product and if i change the product that means i'm changing the criteria inside the function and you can see this is the maximum sold amount okay now we're going to expand this function to meet our second criteria so here our first and criteria and value is selected if i press comma it is asking for the second criteria range which will be our category range so this is our second criteria range and again i don't want to write anything inside my function so i'm selecting the criteria to a cell where i'm going to write the category name and i'm going to filter out the value you can see we have expanded to two criteria here this is the first criteria already showed you and i'm going to do the second criteria and close parenthesis again nothing because we haven't selected any category so if i select the app category category here and you can see in this category in this product the maximum sold amount is this okay so now click here and let's expand for the last category our salesperson so if i press comma it is asking for the criteria range 3 so this is our third criteria range and again if i press comma it is asking for the criteria which i will be writing in cell f3 okay and if i close parenthesis again zero because I haven't written anything here so if i write the salesperson name in this place you can see this is our maximum sold so this salesperson sold this amount in, inside this category and this is the product okay so i'm going to find out the maximum value based on different filtering or different conditions this is max if s function this is how it works okay hope you understand and this is what i wanted to show you thank you thanks for watching see you in the next tutorial if you can please support the channel through patreon and don't forget to share this video and if you like this function explained video series, please let me know. And if you want to learn about any specific function, please let me know that also. I will explain that function for you. So, see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.